Hey guys, this is Nidhi. Welcome back to my channel, Nidhi's World. So guys, we'll be preparing something special from my dad's hometown, which is Tumkur. And that is Batani Usli. It is the Peace Usli. So let's get into the video and look at the recipe. So here are our ingredients. I'll be telling all the proportions and quantities as per one and a half kilogram of peas. One cup freshly grated coconut. One cup coriander leaves. We have curry leaves, chilies. This is ginger. We have garlic and half a lemon and mustard seeds. Butter, you can also add ghee and oil. I'll be adding a little bit of butter and ghee. We have a lot of onions and salt. As you can see here, there is a powder and this is the main powder while making the piece usli. So for this powder, I have added 3 spoons of cumin seeds and 3 4 spoon of fenugreek seeds for one and a half kg but when you're making for one kg you only need two spoons of cumin seeds and half a spoon of the fenugreek seeds now i will be showing how to make a paste which is also important we will be adding the chilies and then the ginger then we will be adding some rock salt you shouldn't add water but grind it as it is i'm going to close the lid tightly so it doesn't come out You can see the paste should be like this. Now I'll just scrape off the sides and add our garlic. You have to just grind it once, it should just be crushed and not into a fine paste. Now you can see it is not crushed completely nor a fine paste. It should be like this. Now I have put a cooker like this on the stove. I will be adding a splash of oil. The oil is hot now so I will add the mustard seeds. Now I will be adding the curry Then the onion, let's try it for a while. I have washed the piece, now I will add it. Now we have to fry it for a while. Now we will add the paste we made earlier. and mix it properly I have fried it for about 2 minutes now I will be adding the powder then the grated coconut 
The more grated coconut and coriander you have, the better it tastes. Now goes in the coriander. Look at that. Now let's mix it. Now I have mixed it properly. I'll, I, I'll be adding the butter. If you don't have butter, you can add ghee also. And the amount of butter and ghee is as per your wish. It depends on your taste if you want it more buttery or if you want it maybe not that buttery. Now I'll be adding a little bit of water, not a lot. Let it cook for about 2 to 5 minutes. Now I'll be adding the juice of half a lemon. A little bit of jaggery. It's optional but it is better when you add it. It gives a nice taste. Now we will close the lid and we'll have a look at it after 3 whistles. Now I will close it. As I told you earlier, three whistles. I have closed it. Now I will add the whistle. The usli is cooking. In the meanwhile, we will make akki roti, which is the rice roti. You can also make puri, chapati and even the rava roti my mom makes is also a really good combination for this. Let's see how to make the akki roti. So first we have the rice flour. Now we will be adding 1 spoon of cumin seeds. And a little bit of salt to taste. Now I will mix it with my hand first. Here I have took cold water. If you want the roti to be even more nice and soft, you have to use hot water. I will add water a little by little and mix it and make it into a dough. You don't want the dough to be too sticky or too dry. The dough should be in this consistency. Now I will show you how to make the roti. First you have to light the stove and put a pan on it. And then you will need this paper. In Kannada they call it Olige paper. If you go to Maleshwaram, you get it. That is where I get these. I'll spread some oil on this sheet so the dough doesn't stick to the sheet. And I have spread some oil on my hand also. Now, you have to make the dough into a nice ball like this. And pat it gently. Flatten it into a round shape. Now let's put the roti on the pan. Now if you leave it the paper like this for a minute, the roti will automatically come out. Let it cook on one side, then let's flip it. You can add ghee on top of the roti if you want. 
or if you don't want it's optional now i'll flip it let it cook on the other side now i'll transfer it into a plate Arusli is also ready. Let's taste it. I have made another roti while this was cooking. I will roast it too and have a nice lunch. My dad's hometown, aka Tumkur's special dish is ready. So you can make the roti nice and soft like this. But I made it crispy because I like the crispy roti nice and crunchy. Now let's try it. You can add a little bit of lemon juice on top if you like it a little sour. Like me. Mm. Heaven. That's really good. So I suggest you guys to also make it at your home and try it. If you guys like my video, please do like, share and subscribe. See you all next time. Goodbye.